a lot of times disappointment results from setting expectations instead of goals, Mm. right? And so those two kind of go hand in hand. When we have expectations, which are maybe goals that we don't communicate or desires that we don't communicate, we just think, who knows what I want? (laughs) Come on. Well, no, the world doesn't know what you want. The, your business doesn't know what you desire. It takes planning. It mm-hmm. takes strategy. And so when you have these desires for your life, but you haven't really conveyed them to the people around you, to, or even really taken the time to clearly articulate them to yourself, Well, expectations are very, very hard to bring to fruition Mm -hmm. because there's really no solid framework around them. So, of course, you're going to get disappointed if you expect something, but nobody knows what it is. Right. Yeah. I know growing up and still to this day when when talking to different individuals and hearing either what their life goals are or life mission and they're they're beautiful don't get me wrong when i hear someone say i want to make an impact on the world i mean that's incredible there's a lot of other things that you could say that aren't awesome <laughs> and so the fact that someone is willing to even put any effort into that to make an impact in the world is beautiful but to your point it's when you aren't clear with yourself and with those around you and with the universe it's really hard for all of it to um, to coalesce and 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 flow in your favor, in the favor of of that, because it's not even your favor. If your desire is to impact the world, that's not just a selfish desire. That's uh, that's a community desire, right? Yeah. And so that means there has to be multiple parties in play to work together in collaboration in order to actually allow that to happen. And so if you're saying, "I want to impact the world," but then you're not giving how or why or when or what then yeah i mean to some degree it is it is selfish because only you know and even then do you really know and so that's where it takes that extra little step what i feel you're talking about taking the time to write it down you know there's we all are aware of business plans but you know what about a business plan for our personal goals yes. right i mean so there are things you can do whether it's a personal mission statement or uh, achievable goals, creating an effective timeline, you know, all these things that we can do that we can actually sit down and write and practice. I mean, you and I spend a lot of time when we talk, uh, you know, we've brought up that we, we go on walks together and all that. And it's just so, it's so nice that we continually craft our conversation, not like scripted. And that's really, really important to understand. It's not like we're sitting yes. here scripting how we are going to talk. Specifically, it's getting clear and concise with what we truly believe in so we can articulate it well so that we know, that other people know, and that the universe know. And so there is a consistent flow and cohesion around what the goal actually is so that it can be delivered. 